Hello everyone, my name is Gabby, and uh, how are you all doing today? I, I hope everybody has been going well. I've been going well, um, you know, the usual. I know there's a new Dragon Ball Super movie coming out in 2022, in, well, in this year now, and I do have a lot of thoughts about it, and I've been planning on thinking about and trying to do a video for it, but there's a lot I can talk about, and I'm still trying to figure out the best way to frame it and really like do something. I'm too much of a perfectionist. I can't just apparently just do my thoughts and just leave it at that. I've got to like actually make a big retrospective of how this relates to how I view the series over the last like five years or so because you know that's just me. But in the meantime I bought a big anime figure again so might as well do an unboxing. This one I'm actually super excited to unbox because it's probably the biggest, most expensive, and most elaborate anime figure that I've actually bought so far. I'm not normally a big figure collection. I don't even really care about the articulated ones. I generally go for, you know, the, the kind of $30, well, $30 in Australia, maybe $20 US, like the prize figure ones, the ones that are relatively small, not too expensive, very easy to get because they're distributing a lot of them. This was like, this is like the second or I guess technically the second big like anime figure I like I saw it was on pre-order I pre-ordered it I waited for months and months and months and it's finally here so I'm really excited to see what this whole thing is like so here it is it's a uh it's a, a big one eighth scale figure of Chiaki Nanami from Super Danganronpa 2 so if you guys ever saw my unboxing for the Hajime Hinata figure uh, a few months ago yeah it was in may may 2021 is when i got that and when i had that figure i had pre-ordered this chiaki as well at the same time and i didn't know i thought it was only going to take a few more months for it to come out and like two months or so for it to come out and it took like i guess over six months because like you had to wait for all that and i had to wait for shipping and you know it, it took a while but then again given how covid has disrupted the global supply chain if anything i'm just glad i have it that it's actually here, even if it took like maybe over a year since my initial pre-order to actually get it. I, I, I'm just glad it's here. I'm glad they didn't cancel it and everything because it, it looks cool as hell. So let's have a look. You know, in terms of size, it doesn't look like significantly bigger from it than other figures that I've gotten. But if you just look, like if you just look at the detail on this box, it is insane. Like, I mean, the box itself on the front here is cool, but you've got like the window to sort of see what the figure looks like outside of pictures. And it's the figure, the window is shaped like Monomi, who is also there next to, next to Chiaki in the, she's there as well. And um, there's also this side as well, there's also Nanami Chiaki, there's a little Monomi shaped hole, so you can look at that. The, the, the top, you've got... Another Super Dengen Rumba 2 Nanami Chiaki. A little Monami head there as well. The back is just instructions. The side as well is another figure there of another side of it. Um, this, oh, I already did this side. I think it's just the back I haven't shown. So yeah, that's what the figure is going to look like when it's unboxed. And that's going to be really interesting because, I mean, look how elaborate it looks, right? Like, this looks like it's going to take... Uh, especially this thing, you know, the stuff with like the the wires there, the the looks like there's sort of kind of you know wires coming out of the the, the fake retro CRT and the game console. Uh, I don't really see that in the in the plastic there, so I'm wondering how this is all going to be assembled. Unfortunately, I, I get the feeling that once I assemble this thing, I'm going to have to like disassemble it and then put it back because this thing looks so slightly precariously leaning. I don't want to kind of leave it out. I don't want it to like snap accidentally. I kind of want to just put it back in the box and I hope that's not going to ruin things too much, ruin the presentation of it all, but it's it looks really exciting. For those of you not in the know, I'm, I've become a very big Danganronpa fan. Super Danganronpa 2 is my favorite one of the franchise and Chiaki's, you know, she's definitely a character I really enjoy. I don't know if I necessarily say, like, she is one of my favorites specifically as a character, but, like, she just exemplifies everything about Danganronpa 2. She's kind of like the core, the kind of core emotional focal point of Danganronpa 2. And I think this figure really represents the game and represents her character. You know, it, it's not just like a character in a basic pose. Like this feels like it's a figure about the game, about her. And that's just, like there's just so much love put into this. I am, I'm super excited to open this up. Now let the unboxing begin. Okay, let's see how we do this. Ooh. Oh, jeez. 
Oh, this is, this is sick. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh my god, this is insane. Inside, it comes with the it, like instruction manual kind of thing of how to sort of set it up. But like, inside the books, inside the books, where Chiaki was, there's a Hope's Peak Academy logo. You couldn't see that because it was covered up by it. But like, even just that, like there's so much detail in this. Like this is practically like a little diorama thing, right? I'm going to go and check and see what the figure looks like. Oh, this is, this is super cool. This is, oh, this is crazy. There's so much here. And obviously I'm going to have to assemble it all myself and then disassemble it and that's going to suck, but you know. So we've got, there's the Chiaki, there's the Chiaki, there's the Monomi, there's the Retro CRT, there's the Monokuma Head Sand thing, there's the little game console, which I think is like a, it's like an SNES kind of thing, although, you know, it's not actual, like a literal one, it's kind of an inspired thing. And then on the other side, is the, the, the game stuff. So I'm gonna figure out how to get these instructions working and how to set this whole thing up. Oh, okay, there's no a sticky tape here. This thing just comes out. Oh, I'm, I'm so scared this whole thing's just gonna like collapse somehow, even though it probably won't. Oh, there's the CRT. Got this bit out. Okay, they can just kind of slide out. I don't need to fully open this one. I'll just leave those there. Yep. Oh, I think that's it. It's out. It's out. Okay. We have the Chiaki, which I'll take out of the plastic for now. This is the Chiaki. Oh, that's, that's, that's super sick. She's so cute. Oh, her shoes are so shiny. It's like they just polished, they just, she just polished her shoes ready to go to school shiny shoes and her cute little skirt and a little hairpin very nicely articulated and her little kitty backpack oh, she's just she's just so oh there's a little thing there underneath her jacket that you use to get, attach her to the stand there's the mono me is just just hanging out her little player too is she supposed to be this kind of weirdly faded pink i guess so here is the game console just the little player ports and all this stuff i guess it kind of looks like a super nintendo i don't know here's the little the the, the tv screen this part's really cool because you can't really see that this very well from other things so it basically just looks like the the Danganronpa 2 um or at least you know the japanese version of Danganronpa 2 start screen it's got press start buttons spike chin stuff all, all right reserved and then there's the, the little pixel hajime and nagito there I'm like, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm kind of sad there's no, like, it's not, it's, 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 it's Hajime Nagito or not, like, Hajime Chiaki or something, but I guess it makes sense because Chiaki's right here, so it's kind of like a, you know, these are the little people that she's going to be kind of watching over, you could say. And then we have the giant-ass Monokuma stand. Obviously, it looks pretty damn ominous like that. Oh, look at that, right? That's, that's, uh oh. That is, I mean, that's pretty sick, not gonna lie. Obviously, it, it makes it look a bit, it looks very sinister that he's just standing there laughing over Chiaki, but it fits for the game. Like I said, this is basically like the game. And it also comes with these three pieces of plastic stand. There's a lot of this. So I'm gonna go and look at the instructions now. Yeah, this is like full on instructions. So yeah, I'm gonna figure this out and just do it one step at a time. So there's a whole bunch of little ports on the monokuma that you attach everything to on the white side there is a port and on that port is goes the h this one i think yeah i think this goes in here yeah yeah oh it, it fits in it fits in there i think i might have accidentally pressed the stop record button but in the the white ear goes the other port which i put that in and that goes to monomi's foot right here uh, like that, I think, like this direction. Oh, that, yep, yeah, that, that fits nice and snug as well. And then on the black ear is where you put this big chunky boy. And yeah, that slides in very nicely. And the, the big chunky boy attaches to Chiaki via that thing, probably by her, the thing on her shirt there. Oh, wow. This is so complex, but like really super cool. Uh, 
Let's see the work so far. Yeah, it looks about right so far. Okay, then we have the little wires and stuff, which are there and thankfully have not snapped or anything. But God, they're so thin. Like, it's just plastic, right? This thing could snap so easily. The one with the auxiliary cords. Oh my God, the auxiliary cords actually goes, it goes into the television? Holy shit. Oh my God, that's insane. You know what, I think, I think I need to put in the controllers in first. The controllers which are attached to their hands. Like, oh, this is the, this is the sickest figure I've ever bought, I'm not gonna lie. This one goes in Chiaki's hands. Uh, there. Like that. Oh yeah, like, I think you just, you just like put it into the sleep. No, yes, no, I can't really tell, but that's not staying in, but let's try the other controller port. That's the one that Monami is holding. That one goes in her hands. Oh, this is insane. This is insane. Is there a thing for her to hold it? I don't really understand where, how she's supposed to hold it. You know, there are these little notch things. So I just kind of assumed that there was like a hole that that goes into, but I can't see any holes. I actually have no idea how I'm supposed to do this. So fun. Okay, I just looked at the figure. It looks like you're supposed to position the what the, the controller on Monomi, which is the one in this this one, in a way that fits in between her hands somehow. Whereas the Chiaki, the Chiaki is supposed to have her like pressing the kind of the A button. The A button is sort of like oh no, more like the X button. The X button's like in her finger, like that. Okay, I think I got, yep, yep, I, okay. I've got Chiaki's, the controller in Chiaki's hand. Can't really see it. Oh yeah, you can kind of see it. I need to put, get the controller in Monami's hand, which is very difficult. It fits like that, but that would be her can play it upside down. And we all know Monami's probably not good at video games, but still. You know, the, the shoulder buttons are at the outside, so it's not that direction, even though that fits. Okay, sorry, Monami, I have no idea how you fit the controller into your hands. I'm just gonna try in the game console, see if that works. Oh shit, that, that's it. Oh shit, okay. So now it's just the Monami left. I just don't know how to get this into her hands, is the problem. I guess like that's just the best I can do, I think. It doesn't look like it's gonna be a perfect fit, but I, it looks like it's staying reasonably enough, actually. Actually, that's, actually, I think that works. I think that actually is all working. And that I think is the figure, shit. All right, all right, let's go. Let's unveil the figure. Oh geez, that definitely took longer to unbox than I expected, but well, there was a lot of assembly required. I, I, I hope this is going the right way. I, I, I feel like this might be going the wrong way, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll have to see. I guess this is good enough for now. It's like, this is like the real life hassle of trying to figure out how, you know, all the wires go connect to your game console. Now I'm just like, are the wires on my game console connected in the same way they are in the box? I don't know if they are exactly. I think some of it should be behind Chiaki instead of in front of her. But, uh, well, uh, maybe I'll spend a bit more time fidgeting behind this, uh, out, like outside of the video to get this perfect. And if I figure that out, maybe I'll not take some photos, put as a thumbnail, put it on in the video or whatever. But in the meantime, I guess I'm just going to stop and admire my handiwork that's not perfect, but good enough. When I try and look at it, you can't really get a good view of it, but it's just really... I just think, like, symbolically, this is a cool-ass figure, right? You know, and I, I guess there's sometimes a difference between the general kind of price figures and these, like, really premium expensive ones. Like... They're not just, you know, one character doing a generic pose. It's like, you know, it feels like it's some capturing a moment in time as, as a PVC figure. This is the part where I'm going to start going to spoilers into Danganronpa 2. So if you haven't played Danganronpa 2, please play it maybe. That would be fun. Or I guess if you don't, if you haven't played Danganronpa 2 and you don't want to be spoiled, now, now's the time to stop watching. Three, two, one, spoiler alert, gone. Okay, the kind of general plot line of Danganronpa 2, what makes Danganronpa 2 so special is that it's not just characters are trapped in a killing game and, you know, they're trapped in an island, they have to kill each other, these kids have to kill each other. The whole point is that they are basically in virtual reality and a virtual reality that was originally like a rehabilitation camp for a bunch of people who have become incredibly traumatized through events of 
whatever is going on in Junko and Ashima. And Chiaki is basically there in the virtual reality. She's an she's basically like an AI helper. She's just an artificial intelligence who's basically brought in there to be one of the students to kind of blend in amongst them, but to sort of help them at the same time. This Monokuma head sort of staring ominously at, at her is just, you know, it's kind of symbolic of her trying to help these students kind of rehabilitate themselves. But in the meantime, you have Monokuma, you have this evil virus that infects the program and is forcing them to kill each other and, you know, make them sink to despair and all that. Chiaki's story is one where, you know, she kind of is trying to fight her best against Monokuma and these plan the plans that he has for these kids and all this sort of stuff but she's just an AI and there's only so much she can do. Monomi as well obviously Monomi is also an AI that's trying to fight against Monokuma but can't really do anything and so Chiaki is basically the traitor. She is not one of them she's somebody who is sent to kind of observe them but she's also really got their best interests at heart. She's just constantly watching them and is trying to make sure they don't die, trying to make sure they don't kill each other and you know just trying to be helpful. You know, she's the traitor, but she never betrays them. She's not one of them, but she's helping them more than anybody else. And no matter how hard she tries, she really can't stop a lot of the killings from happening. So all she can do is just investigate the best of her abilities, which she can do because she's a gamer and has good deduction skills and is also an AI. So I guess she's probably very smart because of that. And, it, you know, it like, like symbolically, it's so cool that you have, like, basically Chiaki playing this game, but the game is the game of Super Danganronpa 2 on an old retro CRT, like this is some kind of old retro game sort of thing with the retro game aesthetic, and Chiaki's like a, you know, she's the ultimate gamer, but she also really likes retro games, and it's like an old game console and Monami's her player too because you know she's helping with the she's trying to play the game of the rehab camp which is like starring Hajime and Nagito and you know it, it's like this is just the coolest shit this is just the coolest figure ever and that's why it costs like like 13,000 yen I think it was and that's you know then there's all the shipping in the foreign current currency exchange and all that stuff but I think it's about I think it's about 13,000 yen for this but yeah as to where I'm going to put this I actually don't know because I mean I definitely don't have space and this is something yeah, this is something I just want to put back in the box because it's just too pretty I love the arrangement the whole arrangement of this thing but it's just I don't want these these pieces of plastic to snap let's put it that way they're very small and like you know not as fragile as I thought they would be they they but they're, they're pretty sturdy but I don't want them to snap and then I can never, you know, do this ever again. So I think what I'm going to do is I think I'll probably, you know, leave off the unboxing around here, or at least general unboxing. I'm going to figure out, see if this is aligned the right way, take some nice photos on my phone, then put it all back in the box and, you know, kind of have final thoughts and whatnot. And who knows that how long that will take, but I'll see you then. <sighs> all right, I'm back. That took a little bit, but I managed to figure it out. Turns out there's a little notch on the game console thing that fits into Chiaki's leg, and that attaches to there, and that gives you a bit more, on at the very least, it gives you a better understanding of where everything's supposed to go. Also, I had the plugs in around the wrong way. The yellow plug was supposed to be at the top, not the red one, but well, anyway, I figured it out. I took some photos and then I'm like, I I am I am terrified that these wires are going to snap because they're just made of plastic and I was, you know, it, it's hard to get the the, the wires especially because they're just like the three little prongs and you've just got to like put them in the three little holes that are right there in it. So either way, I, I, I took that all apart and um, put it back in the box. So, you know, now it's it looks a bit better because there's no plastic on the Chiaki or anything. But, you know, he's she's all safe and nothing, if I ever want to assemble it again, I hopefully can and nothing will be broken. But yeah, so that was, it's, it's really neat. I really, like, I don't regret buying this at all. It's the most expensive figure I've ever gotten, but like, you know, it's expensive for a reason, and I love Danganronpa too, so, you know, it's definitely, I am okay with spending over, you know, $100 on a figure. I think it was closer to 200 when it got closer to, like, putting shipping costs and everything. Danganronpa is, you know, it, it's a franchise that's quite popular on the internet, but it doesn't have that many figures, so something like this is, you know, it's kind of, like, rare. I, I was thinking you might be, like, the only Chiaki figure that, you know, 
is even accessible to probably reasonably have when the pre-orders opened. Although I recently found out that there's going to be, there's like a line now that's like called like a pop-up parade, I think it's called. I think Good Smile does it. And they're like relatively smaller and more affordable and, you know, single pose figures, nothing crazy like this. They, they started doing some Danganronpa ones. They did a Junko and Ashima one and... From what I've looked at, it, it looks pretty good. And I think they're planning to do a Chiaki one as well. And also, I think, um, Kyoko and Nagito, I think it's them. You know, the usual the usual popular characters. Not to mention this one as well. This line, this, I think, like, fat, but, like, P-H-A-T is what it's called. There's this one, and there's the one from Kyoko from Stegen Rubber 1. And they're planning to do, like, they've got, like, the... They haven't like painted it yet, but there's like the, there's, it's shown the the sculpt of it of the Kaede from Danganronpa V3. It's so, like all the, the the main waifus of each game basically. They've done one of of each waifu at this point, or they're planning to. I don't know if I'm gonna get the Kaede. Maybe I will. Depends on how crazy I am, I guess. But I'm I, I mean I'm probably I might get the, who knows I might get the the pop up parade of the Chiaki if that ends up being looking quite good. Like just judging by the Junko, it's. It was pretty cool. So, you know, Danganronpa is hard in terms... It's, it's not really in terms of there's always figures on the horizon. But, you know, it's it's a it's a franchise that I, I, I enjoy a lot. Spending money for, like, one of these, like, premium anime figures, uh, it was worth it for, for me. And um, it's, it's not as terrifying as I thought it was. Although, you know, space is going to be an issue. I, I'm, I'm going to have to figure out what to do about that to the point that maybe I will just get like a dedicated figure shelf instead of just like putting it in random bits on my bookshelf in front of other books that have nothing to do with Dragon Ball at all. You know, maybe I will just make a figure shelf or put them all together and the ones that are still in the books, which are the ones onto the side, like uh, there, some of them are still in the box. Basically just the Hajime and the Cure Blossom one I got from I got ages ago. You know, all these ones have basically been unboxing on camera. In fact, I don't think there's a single figure, odd, well, big proper figure on my figure shelf that I haven't like unboxed. So, you know, it's it, it's neat. Like as as the, the, the shelf has grown, you guys have seen every step of the way. And I don't know, my, my vlogging skills have probably gotten better. So yeah, from now on, I guess I'm going to try and think of some way to do talk about the new Dragon Ball movie because like I said, it's, it's, it's very, in, I'm, I'm very interested for this way. I mean, I, I'm sure people would think like, oh, you know, Gabby's like going crazy because... It's basically a Gohan movie, and I'm a big fan of Gohan. So, you know, I'm definitely excited for the movie. I think it's just going to be fascinating because I did not expect that they'd ever make to make something like this. That that that's what's making me really interested about the movie. So, what it's going to end up being and how it's going to be received by everybody. That's the part I find fascinating. So, you know, I'm I'm planning to try and get a video out, but no promises on when and where and what it's going to be about when it's going to happen i'm just I, at the very least i'm just gonna, I'm, I'm going to i want to do one at the very least before the movie comes out which you know i i guess you know the movie does technically come out in like i think april in japan so in a way it's not too far away uh, i i know saying like oh i'm going to have a video out in the next four months isn't necessarily the best like hype oh man it's immediate but you know, like, that's an idea. That's something to do at the very least. You know, this channel doesn't really have any big plans coming up or really anything like that. It, you know, this is this is the place where if I want to go and share something that I think that everybody on the internet needs to know, or at least I am not scared of telling everybody on the internet something. And I think it's very valuable if you guys get to hear what I have to say. And, you know, for figure unboxing, hey, it's like, you know, who else is going to buy something like this and then try to assemble it and then try to explain exactly what the experiences are in assembling something with lots of very finicky small pieces of plastic that might snap if you press them too hard. So, you know, it's, it's, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's not really a living because it's not a job, but it's, it's a hobby. So I hope you're all having a great day and I'll see you soon.